Hello Stitchy friends, it's Shari. Welcome back to my channel and another floss tube video. Today's floss tube is a little bit longer than normal because I filmed it with my sister and when there's the two of us together there's more chatting, more projects, and more things to share. <laughs> So hopefully you will stick around and hang out with us, but I always like to pop in at the beginning, add a little intro. Um, we are going to, or I am going to show as one of my new starts, the Hands-On Design Autumn Folk Stitch Along. So I am hosting the Autumn Folk Stitch Along like I did for summer. Now I've finished summer. If you're not finished with summer, it's totally okay. Keep stitching summer keep sharing but we are gonna roll right into autumn too and so I have a little graphic here I broke the chart down into four parts just like I did for summer so if you like to have a little bit of a schedule like I do <laughs> keeps me on track gets it kind of done uh, I have four parts you could probably stitch each one in about a week so you'll be done in a month if you don't like schedules totally ignore this it doesn't really matter. Just stitch along with us and have fun. We do have hashtag to use, H-O-D, Autumn Folk Sal. And if you would use that on Instagram or Facebook, that's great. But the best way for us to see it, <clears throat> me and Kathy, is to tag us. So I am on Instagram mostly, and it is at Shari Moss. And of course, for Kathy, it is at hands.on.design. Hashtags don't always show us everything. Little Instagram lesson for today. If you use a hashtag on a story, I'm never going to see it. Because when I search the hashtag, it doesn't show me stories. That's where I like to share my progress is on stories and then my finishes in my feed. So please just tag us. I would love to see it. I would love to share. That's for summer and for autumn. So summer folk and autumn folk. And I will share my start in the portion of the video I filmed with my sister. Um, the other thing I wanted to share, cause I don't think I shared a really good look at it um, when I filmed with Stacy, is I went to South Dakota as I talked about in my previous video and we took a finishing class with Kathy. And so this is my little box. That I finished this is in the midnight garden we stitched this this was stitched ahead of time we laced it and then we made our box with all the pretty fabrics and then we also made little pins have gotten squished down in there this little tomato and she gave us a little felt ball so we could make the little strawberry we did cording so yeah and it has um a little magnet so it sticks in my box here <coughs> So that was my project from class and I love it. It turned out so, so cute. So uh, let's get right to the video and all the other things to share. Hello, hello. Stacy here and Shari. And uh, this for me is Floss Tube Season 7, Episode 8. Seven is for 2024. Oh, season seven is 2024? Yes. Okay. And yep. for me, it's number 14 because I don't do seasons. That's just the way you started. Yeah. I figured it was better than over the years getting up to like, this is floss tube number 182. Some people do. And then, like, what? So. Wait, you can't have your 100th episode if you don't do it that way. I had a hundredth video already. Oh, you did. Oh, that's right, you did. Yeah. But it was a hundredth video, not a hundredth floss tube. Because you show other things. I do other stuff as, than just floss tube. As most people. So, welcome back to the Shari and Stacy show. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Stacy did her hair today. I, I didn't do it. It just did itself. Oh, Stacy. It did itself. This has, is my natural hair. My hair was so big. <laughs> it just is. It's very, it's very 80s. Oh, I, I like the 80s though. <laughs> I mean, it's not a perm, but 
Mm. <laughs> and um I forget. <laughs> what you were gonna say? Yeah, I was distracted by the hair comment. Oh <laughs> but okay, that's that. Okay. So um it's been a little while since we did a, a floss tube together. Yes. I had a floss tube on my own and also a I think a painting video since we did floss tube. Oh, and you went on vacation. And I went you on your vacation. pictures, right? I think so. To New England. And I've been on vacation to South Dakota. I'll have to put pictures at the end. South Dakota. I have a finish from my trip. I have one finish, not from my trip. I didn't take any stitching on my trip. You have a finish? Is it a big? No, it is not big. <laughs> my last not. video, though, I had three finishes. Okay. What do you want to do first? Um, haul. I have very, very small amount of haul. That's shocking. What did you buy? I bought some things. So, first thing I bought that's not oh not with um, cross stitch, but it is still sewing. I I bought this jelly roll, roll roly poly thing from it's like Fat Corner Shop. Halloweeny. It is Halloweeny. What's it, it called? Although it's for a wedding. <laughs> for a wedding. This couple is very goth. Very, um, yeah, very like dark goth ish. Yes. So are you making them a quilt for a wedding present? Yes. I thought you were making this for yourself when you told me it was called Frightful something. Dreadful Delights. Dreadful Delights. I was going to say Frightful of Delights. Quarter shop. It's purples, creams, blacks, dark green, orange. There's some little skulls right skulls, here. Skulls, um, poison bottles, uh, spider webs, and. Um, I saw some of these spider web fabrics creepy. when we were at a quilt shop in South Dakota. I was like, I think that's the stuff Stacy bought. And it sheds like crazy. Well, jelly rolls do, just because of the way they're cut. What else did you buy? My other thing that I got, I only got one other thing, for, also from Fat Quarter Shop, was, is this um, fabric. It's called Celestine. Celestine? Celestine? What is that? Celestine? 30s. <laughs> But anyway, it's a very, 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 very faint blue. It's white almost in this camera, but it's not. It's like a purplish blue. And um, I got it for these stitches. Oh, the ones we bought at Annabella's that time. But, which is the Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, Beach boardwalk set, ex minus the boardwalk sign. Oh, that, yeah, the background on these is a little more tealy, but that'll be pretty. Looks like the sky. And that's what is that what you're that going for? for? The sky. And if you put all of them beside each other in a row, is like what you're going to do, it's pretty long. It's Well, this is 36 count, though. I know, but on 36 count, it's 20 inches long. That's it's still only, pretty it's long. Only this long. And only four inches, four inches high. Tall. Mm -hmm. Cool. There you go. And that's it. That's all you bought? <laughs> <clears throat> I don't buy a lot. Unless I need it. I, I know. You got lots of fabrics. You may never I use. do have lots of fabrics. Here, let's start there. I had a um I got. Hold on. Look. Oh, okay. I had a client that also does some cross stitch. Mm -hmm. She had asked me if I was um, still working on the Disney stained glass. 
and, and you're like until I die. And I was like, it probably will still be a whip when I die. Because I'm not. How big is it? Do you know? Does it measurements? It's like okay, but you don't know the real measurements. You have to go watch a video of her unfolding the fabric. <laughs> That's just like an ambitious project that you never expect to finish. Probably. I got some Pyrex. This that is one's pretty. Sea Glass Soft in coloring cotton. And this one is Dove. And I got it in 36 too, so I have two of the Doves. And I went to Sassy Jack's yesterday. <laughs> Without you, it's like once a week. Well, because Matt goes to the comic book store, and I oh. we have one car, and I was like, well, and it's my car, and I was like, well, I'm driving, and I'm going to go get some floss I need. But I also got this, which is called Wild Honey, because I have a project for that one by by whom? Legacy Linen. I got some floss too, but we don't need to talk about that. I'm I got my Saturday. Well, we can go again <laughs> if you want. I got oh, my thing I need to buy. Color and cotton floss. I want to take these out. Well, these are a big old mess because I pulled one out. <laughs> so I have to take these that out. That looks like all the colors you've already had projects. Well, it's a it's the a, bee stuff. It's a club though, so I just get whatever they send me. I know, and right, I looked into go. that. It's pretty cheap, actually. Yeah, and I have lots of that. You can just come borrow colors if you want. Don't, don't, not for your stained glass project that's enormous, but you know. No, that's all DMC. Within, I wouldn't do that anyway. Within reason. So there's those. And then I bought, when I was in South Dakota, I bought this pattern, which is new. From the heart and hand. It looks like that one. That's that what was, I want to stitch on this. <clears throat> it looks like kind of similar to that one that you were going to stitch me and then I stitched my own, remember? Well, it's by the same person. Oh. <laughs> but that was a free one. And then I got this one too because it says gather. I got like this one for a while. I think it's older. But while I was in the heart and hand doodles, I got that and I got this one which is hands on design because I have the other two I just haven't started them yet there's a gather theme yes we're, we're about into fall and we gather pumpkins I've already got the floss in this one I have another one that's fall that's hands on design that I've started because they're doing a stitch along how do you store your DMC flosses on bobbins like you do. In a uh, container. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also got this. Because I have the autumn. It's a little sampler. I'll probably get spring and summer too. Wait. <laughs> what? It says winter. Is that what you're looking at? No, I'm looking at B. It's a lowercase B and a lowercase D. Oh. And okay. I think that's all I bought. I bought this book. It came from <gasps> Amazon. That looks like me. So Stacy can borrow the book. Except I would not stitch a deer. There's other animals. There's other animals in here than just deer. Not because. I mean, there you, was an event. You and deer <laughs> have a special relationship. <laughs> if not for this event. I, I would be fine with well, stitching. Well, I'll let you look at this book and you can pick some out. You can do some if you want. Anyway, I got it off Amazon. Other people have done flip throughs, so I'm not going to flip through it. Okay, yeah. We should do a flip through of the Halloween magazine. Do you have a Halloween magazine? No, I thought about it and then I never went and got one. <clears throat> you know, okay, sometimes then. I get there and I flip through it on my own and I'm just like, no. Oh. Nothing in this. Where did you go look at it? You can get them at um, Barnes and Noble. Oh, okay. That's it. So, um, Halloween, or, um, oh. I did get a fun bag <laughs> from my friend Heather who made this. It's an exclamation heart. Yes. And then 
Lori made. Ah, Lori gave me gave us <laughs> these bags, but she made this. It says friendship is. So we're on to happy now. Friendship is the golden thread. The golden thread. Yep. All right, that's all in this bag. I just was finishing off the bag. This has stuff in it, but it's stuff that I've shown before. That's, that's um, kitted up. What? Stitchy kindness. Stitchy kindness. Um, like I was about to say, Halloween and fall slash autumn, whatever you choose to say. We say fall mostly because we're from the south, but you know, fancy people no, say autumn. I say autumn. And I didn't know fall and autumn were regional words <clears throat> uh i think so i think i think you're making it up maybe <laughs> but anyway yes um and, and i know that's your favorite season so it is i have lots of fall things this year <sighs> mm -hmm. but it's august oh. gotta start sometime one more piece of stitchy kindness um at the class in South Dakota, there were two ladies from Canada who I interact with on social media, often uh, Serenity and Dawn, and they brought me this awesome mug. I know they brought one to Nicole as well. Uh, I didn't see Nicole's, um, but I think hers might be different than mine. But mine's from Alberta, Canada. Uh, I did forget this earlier because I've been drinking out of it. <laughs> quite often. So it was in my cabinet above my coffee maker. But thank you so much, ladies. It was so nice to meet you. Um, we didn't get to chat a lot because we were all busy in class. Um, but I really appreciate it. I love the mug. I think it is awesome. I've never been to Canada, but now I have something from Canada. So I guess I should remedy that and plan myself a trip up north. Next up, for me, Do you have I don't start? have any stitchy kindness. No, someone should give you something. <laughs> Do you want me to make you a project bag? We can I, talk I about that like later. I figure out how to make my own project bag from the leftovers of that jelly roll. Well, it wouldn't be hard. You just make panels. I can show you how. Let me quote them. I did start something. So we're doing new starts? Yes. Okay. Um... I got this from the winner, winner chicken dinner, oh. uh, uh, Nicole. <laughs> Nicole Spore had a giveaway and Stacy won. <laughs> not, that's not her name, winner, winner chicken dinner, Nicole. <laughs> I got the winner, oh, um, the, one of the, f one of the fall She had packages. a lot of giveaways. Was that for her like big giveaway? That she had like, like 20 giveaways in one video or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it also came with a um, coffee mug thing. Oh, and, and Yeah. But anyways, I started stitching this one, the oh, autumn nice. rules, on my own dyed fabric. And this is how much I had that my, I got done. This is the pumpkin. Oh, so you started in the middle? Yes. That's good. Um, I might think be when you'll actually change. Finish. Oh, yeah. I change the color. I changed the pattern. <laughs> so here beside patch on the pattern, it has oh, it's like, um, like arrows, like pointing to the patch. Well, I didn't want to do that. I made Argyle. Argyle. Is that the word you're looking for? I made plaid is what I was going to say. <laughs> That's not plaid. <laughs> so I did this instead. And then I put That's a cute. back stitch in there to make the crosses on the That's cute. plaid. Did you just not like the arrows as much? Yeah. That's all right. That looks good. It fills it nicely. I dyed this fabric. What was it when you started? White? White. Always start What'd with you dye it with? White. Actually, I guess it was an ivory. And then yeah, I dyed it people. with um, coffee, a color. <laughs> a 
don't remember what it was called. It was a brown. But I did my method that I always do where was I scrunched it? up the fabric and stuck it inside of a little bowl and then poured the brown on top and let it sit there. So it only got to certain spots. Yeah. Okay. You used a writ dye? Yes. Okay then. Is that your only That's news? my only new story. Okay. I have two. One is that's my no, where's my my this is my right there. <laughs> One, I have in this cute project bag I made. Oh. Which I have more of this fabric if you want to make a full one. And it is also Primrose Cottage. I love fall. Most of all. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not really excited about it. <clears throat> well, I just pulled out my own colors. This is how much I've done, and I don't like the yellow. I don't think it shows up enough. Oh. So I'll probably change it. So it's the yellow. Right now, the yellow is fabric. saffron. Non. Yeah. So I, I bought, when I went to Sassy Jack yesterday, I bought... This one's called Sunflower, and I think it might be better. Yeah. So I'm going to change that one out. I think so as well. Or also this one's called, but I think it's too bright. This one's called Squash. Yeah, this one, this one is more sunflowery for autumn -y. For the sunflower? Folly. Okay. Yeah. So... That one will be picked out and changed. No big deal. That's like 30 stitches. Yeah, I haven't done that. was just one night's work. And then my other new start, which if you are on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, you know I started this, is Autumn Folk by Hands On Design because I'm doing a heading up stitch along for Kathy for Autumn Folk. We did spring folk, now we're moving on to autumn. And I have it broken up into four weeks, so I have week one done. Oh mm -hmm. man, crazy hair. I told you your hair was big. So there. So it's the call for DMC on the, at the top. Driftwood, mine is Lugana. So I'm only stitching one stitch because it's really tight, which I've talked about with the other ones before. But it still looks good. You're only stitching one strand. One strand, yeah. One strand. I haven't done the specialty stitches. I do mine at the end so they don't get squished by my hoop. Yep. On to whip, 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 whip. Um, the things that I, we all have a million of, but we only show you the ones we're currently working on. So if I tried right. everything that's in It'd progress, we'd be here for three hours. Oh, I have more than you, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's okay. Okay, kind of going along with the fall theme, on my whip go um, board, I was supposed to do a quarter of the Ghostly Mandala by Ink Circles. I had already done a quarter, and so now... Do you have these other ones there's that two are at quarters, the bottom? In other words, yeah. I have... All, them except for the green one. The green one looks like the coolest one. It looks like it has a spider web in the middle. I do not have the green one. I think you should uh, remedy that. I have <laughs> this, and these are also <coughs> on hand dyed by me fabric. What count? So this. Aha! <laughs> you I'm don't pretty know. sure 32. Was well, it not in your book of information over oh. here? Pretty much all the all the hand dyed stuff is just I go to the craft store and I buy thirty two uh, count white and I just you should buy a giant piece at um, Sassy Jack. Do you know they have those big bolts? I haven't stitched on either the other two, but here they are. What is this one? A spirited mandala. It has pumpkins and ghosts, and this one is called. Fire burning cauldron bubble. Oh, it's I see cauldrons and cats. But the green one, the green one, it looks like it has fire. Anyway, and um, I'm fire. stitching these with um, C310 
C310. Yeah, C3PO. Oh, it's sparkly. Which is sparkly 310. And I don't like it. Oh, it's horrible. It falls apart. Why do you keep using it then? Because I've already got half of one. Well, but are you going to do the other ones that way? You're going to do them? Yeah. I do not concur. <laughs> <laughs> I would start with something else. Can you really see the sparkle though? You you can see the sparkle. Let me see it. I want to see. I don't know. I mean, I didn't notice. It said something. Let me see how much you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. <laughs> well, I was going to say, if you can't really notice, then why bother with the others? But that's fine. So for that, I... Oh, yes. So, so far, the half of the ghostly mandala is like a total of uh, 13 and a half hours of work. So one good day and you could get the rest of it done. If you're stitching for that's all day. All day. Hours. All day. Okay. This one next, because also on my whip go, I actually um July and August both called for Victorian charm work. So here's Victorian charm. By dimensions. Where did you work on it? So the part I um I the part I did was I feel like I can see through the fabric here. See what I'm doing. So these windows in that area of the building and the front door and the steps have been done since you last saw this. Okay, so mainly down here. Yes. Is there a, there's a roof up here? There is. And you need to fill in and fill in. Uh-huh, and Is then, there stuff on this side? Yes. It's almost full coverage. I think you could pretty much say it is. <laughs> almost, I mean, the sky isn't, that's why it's on Navy Ada, because the sky has, oh, yeah. Some stars. Some areas not stitched. Uh, this one is not on my whip go. Uh, but it, you're still working on it when you get done with your whip go. Right? But it has 324 DMC colors. Which one is the right side up? And that's the name of the pattern, 324. Uh, red goes in the, yeah, yep, like that, yeah. So the last time you saw this, um it had the main x through there and since last time i did all of this and this so are you gonna work your way out yep so next you're gonna fill in this. over here oh are you gonna do these yeah okay. like a pinwheel so just to keep yourself entertained 324 colors if you're interested in this pattern um, I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> Somewhere on Internet? online, like Etsy or something. Well, you didn't print but it. But it has no. Um, but it has an option. If you take that page, it has an option for this one. No, uh, thirty-six colors instead of three hundred and twenty-four. If you wanted to do. 36 colors. Stacy just has all the colors, so she's gonna do all the colors. It's by Works by ABC. Uh, so that's an Etsy shop. What you saw there is like 16 hours of work ish. What? I put my stats. Okay, I'm still going. Because you have to change your colors often on that. <laughs> like, Nine stitches and change your colors. I have one more whip. Okay. Whip go. August called for six hours of work. You on. Closed it. <laughs> <laughs> it was already open. Uh, called for six hours of work on the vintage rainbow Is feather, rainbow way? vintage feather. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
don't know what it's called because the file says one thing and then a paper says something. And I totally messed up and uh, didn't hit play on my timer, so I really have no idea if this is six hours of work or not. <laughs> We're gonna go it's with probably it. close. Oh, it has like long stitches through here. That's kind of cool. Um, so the last time you saw it, it had all of this, and then um, the six hours whip go did all of this. Ignore my fingernails; they're awful. Hair color, working hands. So that's turning out to be really pretty. Vintage feather, feather vintage. I think that yeah. It's either vintage rainbow feather or rainbow vintage feather. I think rainbow vintage feather makes more sense. Um, I dyed this fabric just to be black. Really? Yes. You didn't buy it that way? No. Okay. I already had some white, so I just dyed it black. Makes sense. And um, then, of course, as in the fashion that you can already see, there's going to be teals, blues, purples, I think pink up here. Okay. The Huga Holiday stitch along. But I, I'm not doing this. I don't have a place for it. So actually, one of these is finished. But there's ornaments in here too. Actually, you can show me that side. Huga. 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 So I'm doing ornaments. I finished this one and I changed it a little bit because I wanted it to be round. I think she had the little uh, branches down here. I put a star so it fit in my round and I need to figure out how to finish it. I'm gonna finish it in this hoop. I haven't done it yet. And then the other one I'm working on is the tree in a different color. Well, she has, four different color palettes you can pick from and mine is the classic holiday i think so it has a green tree let me see if i can find it green tree classic holiday this is one i'm looking at. so my tree is green i actually changed the houses to be red and that's all i've done <clears throat> i think there's five ornaments in here Okay, so I just there. I like them, but I'm more motivated to stitch on fall and winter right now. I mean, fall and Halloween than winter. But I'm doing this on 36 count raw, and then it's DMC. No, it's not DMC. That's a lie. It's called for DMC, but I pulled Lying out. To the people. I know. I pulled out color and got. Oh. Which I think I showed before. These are the called for DMCs, and then I went and pulled color and cotton that I liked. So that's what I'm using for those. This one, <laughs> I restarted. <laughs> this was one that I was stitching on when I traveled, and this is what it looked like. And I don't like the fabric. And every time I stitched on it, I got angry. So you you like to restart and frog a lot of stuff. I do. If I'm not having fun, why am I doing Gather it? Gather at the table. So I restarted it at home. I took it on my trip, but I didn't stitch on it. So, But I started this before I left. So I have all the words done. And this is on one more reproduction, which is what I did my Miss Liberty on. And I like it better. The problem with this is it's a week on it and holes are really tiny. And I get irritated. Your so I restarted. They're just the holes you know, are so small. Feeling. I thought that I liked it on it, and now I'm questioning everything. You want it? Welcome to negative. <laughs> so I made the correct choice. I have to use started. my little magnifier. All right, um, the other one I'm working on is in my cute project bag I made. This is the one that mom sewed and I took it apart and fixed it. <laughs> because remember she sewed my color. I don't know how much 
she knows. I showed it to her and she goes, oh yeah, that's much better. This one in here is Spirits and Spells. Ooh. And this is what I've done. Fat Lady Witch. That's, I need to get back to her. This is on 40 Count Eastwick by Needle Wax in colors that I just pulled from my stash that you got. Well, not all of it. I think from this DMC Sassy is. Jack. I did get it from Sassy Jack. Do you want to go to Sassy Jack's next Saturday when you're off? I don't know. Okay. Because I don't really need anything. If I buy anything, it'll just be adding to the stash of things well, that I, I started. Well, I only bought floss last time because I needed floss and then I found the wing fabric for a project that I already had. So I was good. I didn't buy any charts, but I had bought some the week before in South Dakota. <laughs> Did you finish anything? I have one finish! I'm counting it as a finish even though there's six. Well, if you were stitching them as ornaments as they're charted, it would be a finish. So I would count it as a finish. It's too. ornaments. Maybe one day I'll start this project. I have this on kit. Dimensions. Or, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> By Dimensions. But I'm not doing ornaments. I'm doing them all on one piece of fabric as a bell pull. As you can see here. So did you finish the church? I finished What the size church. fabric is this? Did we have this conversation before? We did. Do you remember? No. Okay. Um, it's not what came in the chart or in the kit. No, it's not. Because <laughs> what came in the kit was 18. This looks like 14. <laughs> okay, so the one that I finished. Oh, <laughs> the one that I finished is Tree Farm. The top one? Yep. So, what did you start in the middle on this thing? Yeah. Yes, you did. Because um, I wanted to have. I thought you were just working down. So, no, okay. I did the tree farm, the barn. And it took me a total of 23 hours exactly, which ended up for the crosses and the half stitches, you know, without all the back stitching and the French knots and all of that stuff. 3.81 stitches per minute, which is actually quite a lot, but that's because there's a lot of half stitches. Well, congratulations. Now you only have one and a half. One and a half to do. One and a half left. I still have the pink house with Santa Claus on top. And I need to finish Noelle's bakery. That one first. Well, I put them in order so that there wasn't two pinks together and two. Too bad you can't fix it to say Noelle like you were mentioning. That's two extra letters, though. Yeah. You wouldn't be so able to put bakery. To be, you'd have to make it just say, like, just be Noel's. Noel's. Which would be fine, because it's got a cookie for a sign, so it's obvious what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Camera's messing with me. Or <laughs> um... All dimensions are kits, so they come with their own floss and stuff. I don't know, but I can still use one strand if I want to. Right? Yeah, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> do whatever you want. Is that your only finish? Yes. I have two. One is my project from class. We made... We had to stitch before we went to class in South Dakota, but we made the little box and we laced it onto the cardboard and put all the fabric on the box. And then we made the little tomato with the little strawberry. There's a magnet in it, so it sticks. Uh -huh. put, I put my magnet in the corner. You could put it in the middle if you wanted, but. 
stitching. Don't look at the stitching on the bottom because it was pretty bad. But you're not supposed to see that. It's supposed to be on the bottom. And then there's three shiny pins. Yeah, they, she gave us the pins to put in the to finish our project off. Oh. And then the other thing I so that's a place that you can put some orts. Yeah, it's a little too pretty for that. <laughs> um, and the other one I finished was this one. Boo, which mine is teeny tiny. And it's just called Boo. Yep. This is an awfully a big piece of paper on 40 count flannel flower. Flannel flower. <laughs> yes. Flannel flower. Well, I keep wanting to say flower flannel, but I'm not right. <laughs> rainbow vintage. Vintage rainbow. <laughs> and I picked my own colors and I want to make it into a little pillow. I have some fabric back here and some chanel all over there. It's not it's not easily accessible. So those are my two finished ones. I also am finishing up my quilt. Stacy saw I have like three feet left of binding to <coughs> bless you. <laughs> <coughs> are you okay? Whoa. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to finish my quilt. I'm hand binding the binding which I haven't done before but I kind of like it and I have maybe like three or four feet left to do. I started last night. So I'll have to finish it and take a picture and stick it in here because you, you already said ow once in the amount of time that I've been here. Ow? Ow! Oh like, it is a sharp needle and I poked myself once. I only poked myself about five times last night. It does make my fingers five. sore though. Oh you to need push to get it. those rubber thimbles like I have Okay. Yes. I'll be done before they show up, but for next time. Amazon. Are two they days. the silicon kind? I'm not waiting two days to finish it. It's almost done. Okay, well for next time. For next time. That's it. Alright. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I mean that's all I have to You're share. the one that pumps them out like crazy. I got a lot kitted and planned and want to start but I haven't started yet and I was gone for a week so I didn't get my progress while I was gone so for the rest of August which is two weeks I am going to stitch on things I choose because I'm done with whip go <laughs> for August um, oh. and so I probably will go with some fall themed things is well is your autumn rules on your it's not on your whip go or... no because i got that after the year started so you can work on that because i bet it goes fast because it's letters yeah that was that was very fast i like letters they go fast all the small things don't you that need are to... um symmetrical also go really fast. don't you need to get back to wasn't there like a giant Halloween Quaker that you're working on? Yes. I have the Halloween Quaker. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the, the name. name of the pattern. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's on 40 count, so need some glasses. I have to get my get my magnifier light out, which is still connected to the coffee table, which still pulls the rug and and tucker stuff. I think you need to work on your setup. Yeah, the setup is not good. Okay. okay, so signing off. Um, thanks for watching this video. And if you like this, which obviously you do because this is like a 40 minute video, um, please subscribe <coughs> to the channel below and ring the little bell so that way you are notified whenever a video is posted and you can watch it ASAP. <laughs> or whenever you want to. Or whenever you want. <laughs> um also Instagram I am Stacy Noel C P and you are Shari Mom. Alright. <laughs> Signing off. <laughs>
Hey, okay. if you have stuck around this long, thank you so much for sticking around. Let's deal with some giveaways. I have a winner from my previous floss tube. That was for some Primrose Cottage Halloween charts and some gray Ada fabric to go with it. I will pop up the information right here and apologies for butchering the screen name. Janice Jagelke Miller, I, I think. Uh, anyway, if this is your comment, please send me an email at the email listed below and I will get this fun prize out to you. My giveaway today is sticking with our autumn theme and I have this autumn band sampler from Tiny Modernist. It is so cute. Look at all those little little seeds. I love the mushrooms and the hedgehogs. They're just so cute. And I also have this 14 count sage summer khaki ada to go with it so to win this prize please use the word autumn in your comment please be 18 because i have to ask for your address if you win and please live in the u.s so and also please like and subscribe to my channel because that really makes my day so um word autumn for the new giveaway for this video and I always forget to decide ahead of time when to cut it off. We're going to cut it off uh, September 1st. So please leave your comment by September 1st to be considered for that prize. Um, and I think that's all for today. Again, you know, please uh, participate in the Autumn Folk Sal. I'm really excited to stitch the Autumn one. Um, it is my favorite season. It could be autumn all year long and I would be fine, really. it's It's been cool here and breezy and it feels like autumn and it's just teasing me because I know it's going to be warm again before it get, really gets cool, but <clears throat> I'm ready. I am ready. So use the hashtag tag us if you're participating still in the summer folk sal and the new autumn folk sal and I can't wait to see your stitching. Um... I think that's it. I'm going to insert some pictures at the end here from my trip or our trip to South Dakota. My husband went to, so we spent a whole week there before we, before I took the class at the end of the week. So we made a whole vacation of it, saw lots of amazing things, and we really loved it. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great stitchy day, and I will see you soon. Bye.